Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about Lost and we're going to talk about Hurley. Now, I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to say something that probably most people are going to agree with me. I think everybody loved Hurley or at least liked Hurley. I don't know anybody that didn't like his character. I could be wrong. You could be watching this right now going, I hated him. I couldn't stand his character. I, I'm sure on Reddit, if I went on Reddit, there's a lot of hate on Reddit. I'm sure I could find someone on Reddit who didn't like Hurley. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know anybody. I mean, some people said, okay, I didn't love him, but I liked him. I think I liked him right off the bat. I think he's, he was an everyday guy. You know, this is even before we found out he won the lottery, spoiler alert. And it didn't change him at all. It, it, it actually, you know, it brought him, what you see a lot of people that win the lottery, it brings them sadness. <laughs> Like, you know, it's like, I suddenly got $150 million. Would I be sad? I hope not. But, you know, he had the bad luck and everything, and he ends up on the island. But he was comic relief for the show. He, he, his character was a nerd like most of us who watched Lost. We were all nerds. We, and I mean, that is a badge of honor. I mean, nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong now with being a nerd. Whereas before, you, no one would, would, you know, when I was a kid, you couldn't admit you were a nerd. But he was just... He just loved his character. And another thing, too, when Libby was killed, would Libby's death have been as important or as sad if Hurley didn't have romantic feelings towards her and they were going to have their first date? Would Libby's death have been like, oh, Libby got shot too with Annalicia? I don't think, not that we didn't like the Libby character, but I think her death, because of Hurley's um, emotional attachment to her, we were attached to her. So you have that also. Also, his character grew. As as time went on, he went from being, you know, just lovable Hurley setting up a golf course to te teaching Sawyer he has to be the leader. And remember the episode where he's saying, hey, man, dude, they're talking about voting you out. And he literally helps change uh, Sawyer for the better. I mean, obviously, Juliet really helped Sawyer. But it was Hurley that started... Sawyer on his journey to being a better person and maybe getting some of that bitterness out of the way that he had. And legitimately, I mean, you know, his parents got killed. You can understand. But in the end, Hurley is like a leader. He, you know, he, he takes over the island. He's, he, 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 he goes the extra mile. So his character went from here to here. Again, let me know in the, and another thing too, is I, I almost forgot Another thing that made Hurley so likable was the actor, Jorge Garcia, was a fan of his own show, which is nothing wrong with that. There are, uh, reports are uh, that Naveen Andrews and, and Matthew Fox never watched Lost, that they never watched the show. Not only did Jorge Garcia watch the show, he was a fan of the show. I know when podcasting first came around, my son and I did the Lost podcast with Jay and Jack, he called us like after our fourth or fifth episode, and we were like, we couldn't believe he, he, here's the star of the show that we love. And he took the time to call us and, he, you know, he would do interviews and he would, you know, he helped with fundraisers and stuff that we were doing. And he was just always so good about it. And again, when he would, he was, you know, just such an ambassador to the show of loss. I think that also helped people love Hurley. Again, if, if you are the one out there that doesn't like Hurley, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what I forgot. Let me know your reasons for loving Hurley and all the fun stuff. And like I said, if he would have been killed early on, like we didn't like Charlie's death. Can you imagine if Hurley had gotten killed instead of Charlie or someone else? I think there'd have been an uproar. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Tell a friend, share this video, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back later on.